Archangel Gabriel has some messages, important messages for you today with his beautiful diamond light codes, diamond light frequencies, this beautiful diamond light that is coming through in this beautiful time. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Luna. I am your Oracle of Starlight. I channel messages from Archangels, Star Beings, and Highest Light Spirit Guides for your greatest good. I was sent by the Council of Light and I'm here to get you to your highest timeline, that golden timeline. So if you're interested in anything like that, please go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I come out with a new reading. Not only does this help me to pick up on your energy so I can channel for you more directly, but it helps me to share my light and love with the world for which I am ever so grateful. I will have links below in the description if anybody would like a link to my Manifest Frequency channel with the background music where I put out subliminals and uh, frequency music to help you manifest your ultimate reality. I'll also have links below in the description if you would like to purchase a personal reading, if you would like a link to any of these cards, if you would like a link to my shop, I have some um, coupon codes down below for my new Etsy shop that I just opened and for my YouTube shop. So I have coupon codes for those down below. Or if you'd like to make a donation, I have links for that down below as well. And thank you so much for all to my all of my returning viewers, all my soul family, star family who are here with me. Thank you so much for all your subscriptions, your likes, your shares, your comments. Thank you for your donations, your letters, your emails, any sort of positive energy exchange that you exchange with me. I am ever so grateful. So thank you so much. I'm so grateful for you. I'm sending you so much light and love. Now we'll go ahead and get into the reading. I have the read cards for you to choose from today three images and i'll go ahead and run this third eye chakra bowl to help you choose and then i'll go ahead and pull a few charms as well all right while the images are up on the screen i'll go ahead and run this third eye chakra bowl so take a deep breath in and breathe out and choose the card or group you most resonate with. You may have messages in more than one group, as is often the case. If you feel drawn to more than one card or a more than one charm, uh, you may have a message in that other group as well. As always, please only take what resonates as I read from the collective. I'll go ahead and pick a few charms for you guys as well for each of those card groups. Now that we have your third eye, Activated and open and aligned. We get some charms for group number one, please, Archangel Gabriel. I got peace sign and this little cup of cocoa. Let me grab a couple more. And we had two pop into my fingers, so let's see what we got. We'll stir them up a little bit more. Ah, okay. We've got a little trekkie. We have a wing. We have a skull and crossbones. And we have an angels are watching over you. Now let's go ahead and get some charms for our group number two. Archangel Gabriel, for your messages. We have an angel. We have a butterfly. A turtle. A Mickey Mouse key. If I can hold it in my hands, there we go. Oh, we have got this little love, love. And we have the swans in the hearts for these soulmates, this partnership. And that's card number two, group number two. Let's go ahead and get some charms uh, for your messages for group number three, Archangel Gabriel. Thank you so much. We have quite a few. We've got this key, a divine feminine key. We have a we have a cross. This is a Christic cross. We have a dolphin. We have a shell. We have an apple. We have a fairy. And, oh, I've got two more actually. A butterfly. It's a tiny little butterfly. If I can hold it in my fingers here. And a moon. We have quite a few charms for group number three. Okay, again, I'll put those links below in the description and I'll see you guys in your group. Hello and welcome to group number one. If you chose card number one, you chose this beautiful image and 
and I'll go ahead and put that on my phone and put that up on the screen now. And it's this beautiful diamond light card. And then we've got this cup of cocoa, this little cup of comforting cup of cocoa. We've got this little key, a tri key. We've got a peace sign. We have angels watching over you. We have a skull and crossbones. We have a wing. And let's go ahead and tap into your messages. Group number one from Archangel Gabriel. Oh, he wants me to get some uh, card, uh, some dice first, so let's do that. Uh, we wanna roll these two, it seems. Oh, now they sound all musical. Here we go, let's see what numbers we have. Level four, and an eight. So somebody could be 48, this could be April 8th, um, but we've got a four and an eight, and they've got karmic cycles and four walled worlds is what I'm feeling. I'm gonna read. Well, two more here. We've got a two and an 80. These are all very even numbers. So I've got 88, 88, two, four, and 88. 24, year, oh, this is the year 24 and 88. Okay, let's get just two more. Three and one. 13, or 31, and 10. So I'm doing this number 13, is what I'm feeling here, and a 10. Okay, so now these numbers could have specific meanings for you. We're gonna go ahead and tap in. Yes, there could be, a, these could be dates as well. The 10th of January, or the 10th of March, as well as the 10th of April and the 10th of February. So these are important dates I'm hearing for 2024. And the 88 is going to have a particular meaning. Uh, let me look that up for you really quick. 88. I need to have a little chart that I keep with me. Great success, abundance, and prosperity. So now that's what I was feeling from these numbers, but I wanted to check just to be sure. And it says, it indicates that exciting and positive changes are on the horizon and your guardian angels or spirit guides are prepared or trying to prepare you for the wonderful opportunities that lie ahead. So Archangel Gabriel is here today to help prepare you for these wonderful opportunities that lie ahead in 2024. And so we're gonna go ahead and tap in for you, group number one, for your messages from Archangel Gabriel. Okay, group number one, so it seems that you have brought in a lot of light. You have brought a lot, in, a lot of this Christic light over this last year. There have been a lot of great changes that have come through with these activations that have just recently come through. And Archangel Gabriel is showing me that you are seeing things from a higher perspective now. You're raising up and you're seeing things from a higher perspective. And as this happened to me, I also felt a change in emotions, a change in consciousness. So you're raising in consciousness and it's changing how you feel about things. So perhaps the things that you felt emotional about before you can look at from a different level and this is what he's showing me as a rising up above above the earth as we are rising with the earth this is going to bring you a new level of comfort and peace these are the keys to the body mind and spirit so these are the magdalene codes these magdalene keys that just came through these diamond light codes because you are divinely protected and watched over by the angels and there have been some many death processes. There may have been one major death process that you just went through. There could have been a major tower moment. And this also could hearken to the rebel energies that you have come in with, that maybe you're going to be more of a rebel even in 2024. And I'll take this how it resonates. I feel these are two different messages for two different groups. Now, we have this new book here. Um, Archangel Gabriel is pointing out to me. We have this new book I want to show you. It's called The Daily Oracle by Jericho Mandeber. Now, this is Seek Interest from Your Higher Self. It's an oracle book. Isn't that fun, you guys? It's a yes for me, the universe. And this is what spirit is telling you. It's a yes for me. And I really want to thank Cleo Ra because I saw this. I love Cleo Ra. If anyone hasn't seen her channel, please check her out. She is divinely inspired and she's really showing people how to manifest their ultimate reality. So I'm so grateful to you, Cleo. I love your channel. And I saw you have this on your channel and I had to check it out. And I'm so grateful that I just got it most recently. And it has some of the most amazing answers, amazing, amazing information, amazing words. Let's get one more for you. Uh, let's get one more for you. Let's see. Do what you love, even if you never get paid for it. So it's an answer yes from the universe and do what you love, even if you never get paid for it. Just do what you love. So
so that you can enjoy that, so you can uh, thrive in it. Let's see if I can keep this out here for you. I'm not sure that I can because it's so <laughs> it's so high up. Let's see. Archangel Michael's sword will hold it down for us. Do what you love even if you never get paid for it. Oh, I don't think it's going to stay. <laughs> well, we'll just have to move it over here. You'll just have to remember. Oh, and this card fell out for you. This card fell out for me when I first opened this book, and I thought it was a beautiful blessing from the universe. And it says, the great thing about new friends is they bring new energy to your soul. And someone wrote this back in 2020 when there was like this vision. So I feel like there's this new vision coming in for you, this new vision. And this actually could be created by these new friends. You've got some new friends. They're bringing in new energy to your soul. And this is bringing in new vision, the ability to rise up and see things from a higher perspective. Let's go ahead and get a few cards. Let's see what messages Archangel Gabriel has for you. Oh, we have different tarot cards. So we're going to get these tarot cards. You are a diamond and you have the ability to create your own reality because you are an ultimate manifester. You have this power within you. The seven of pentacles. And that's what I was saying. You have the power within you to manifest your reality. And look, he's growing, growing his garden, growing these pentacles, growing this abundance. See, I feel that you've been growing this abundance. We see the 88. We're going to abundance. This is a positive change. And again, this could have to do with these new friends that have come in. Perhaps they are helping you grow your abundance. With the two of swords, they're showing me there were two different paths. You have two different paths. You had a choice to take. So now these two different paths, one is spirit and one is 3D. So one is the world. One is do you want to remain human and stay in the human world and do the 3D things? Or do you want to go forward in spirit and follow your spiritual path? to the world to the world now these could have other meanings for you as well these could have a this could be a different two different paths that you are seeing uh, please only take what resonates but these are two different paths you've had these choices you've had these choices and i feel like you've put up these barriers as well because they're showing me the barriers and maybe they're showing me the blindfold now and maybe you've just been making this decision blindfolded perhaps these barriers that you put into place actually helped you to make decisions even not knowing where it was that you needed to go um, but the barriers that you've put in place to protect your energy is actually showing you the direction of the path that is that is best for you. This path that's going to lead to peace, comfort, the, the combination of body, mind, spirits, and the taking up out of these devil energies. I'm feeling up out of these, at this rebel energy. I'm feeling that some of you need to come up out of these energies. That maybe there's some energies around you. Um, that, and they're showing me the wing as a rising up. As a, and they're also showing me flight flight as in taking flight as in um flying away you were divinely protected so take only what resonates these are death processes they're showing me the bottom of the deck oh, and another card so they're showing me that the okay the the eight of wands is at the bottom of the deck and the five of swords and then they're showing me see how the five of swords makes the pentacle how this could possibly have been some sort of spell work or good matrix energies and then we're rising up out of these karmic energies so these could be karmic energies that they're speaking of uh, that were keeping you and this is where you had to put up these boundaries for these energies and this eight of swords see yes it was it was it was difficult um, but you don't even have to see where you're going to get out of these energies. You don't. Um, you are divinely led and guided. And this is what they're showing me with the swords all around you, with these enemies around you, possible enemies around you. You could be blindfolded. You could be, uh, you could be blindfolded. You could be, uh, you know, tied, tied at the hand. You could feel like you're tied up. Um, that's what they're showing me. You could feel like you're all tied up, but you're just following spirit. Spirit is this water that's leading you, leading you out. Spirit is this water. I hope you can see this. I never know where the lights are. I hope you can see this. Spirit is this water that's leading you by your intuition that's leading you out of those energies. Where people maybe tried it to... Uh, and, and this is new information that's come in. That's what they're showing me. They're showing me all of these swords coming from heaven from these new activations, bringing new information. And perhaps it's these other people's energies with their information as they were giving you information that was that was uh, giving you so much trouble, putting you in these five of wands energies, these arguments, these tussles. And it's maybe you're fighting for your own power, fighting for your own independence, fighting for your own... Um, for your own well-being is what Arnjo Gabriel is telling me. But this is your personal path. 
Um, it's not what everyone else thinks. It's uh, what you are led to. Um, this is this is where you don't have to tell others. You don't have to make others uh, listen to you or believe you. You just need to um, keep in those energies. It's, it's this particular message that Archangel Gabriel is giving me. Let's go ahead and get a few more cards. And he showed me at the bottom of the deck with the Hierophant. It was the Hierophant. It was these structures. It was these structures that were in place. And it's showing me making the twins bow. So this could have some particular meaning for you. But um, these partnerships, these uh, causing these partnerships. Now, take this how it resonates. This could be sorcery causing these partnerships. I feel this is, I'm getting, I swear, two different messages. Like there's two different groups here in particular. So please only take what resonates. But this is definitely the Hierophant energy that was keeping you in this Eight of Swords. And they're showing me the three hairs as the three, there's the three fates as the fates, the, um, the witches, the, the, the norns, but I'm feeling the fates here as in helping to guide you and maybe reaching out and seeing the cycle of the universe and seeing the patterns in reality is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing also this triangle. This could have a particular meaning for you. There could be like a triangle of um, power here. This also could be a false one as well because uh, I'm getting a few different messages. So please only take what resonates. Uh, this is information coming in for you about partnerships. There could be a triangle partnership. There could be a, what do you call that? <laughs> the words don't want to come through, but you guys just, you just, you understand my meaning. So there's, there's a partner. Maybe there was a false partner. Maybe there is a partner you're trying to choose from. This could be the two different paths. Um, please only take what resonates, but I'm, I'm getting a lot of messages from this three hairs card. I'm going to lay this here for you so that you can see it and get your own messages as well. They're showing me the Libra energy, Libra Scorpio energy as well. Um, they're showing me Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, and Taurus. Oh, these Leo. These could have specific meanings for you as well. They actually have all the, but they were pointing out these different ones here. So these could be... Um, of the partnerships. These could be just specific energies in your life. And they're showing me looking up at the moonlight. Now I'm getting two different messages with this card. I'm getting a moonlighting, moonlighting to bring in your new reality, moonlighting, um, something that you're doing now. I'm also getting with you staring up at the moon and this mystery and soaking in the rays of the moon, soaking in these energies, soaking in these energies of the stars, of the lunar energies, uh, these energies helping to energize reality and bring you forward on this path. Let's get some other tarot cards here. We're wanting these unicorn ones now. And let's see, Archangel Gabriel, what other messages do you have for us? Do we want to clarify anything about these two paths? Let's see. The Ace of Cups. It's going to be a new beginning in love. So a new beginning in love. I'll definitely, I'll definitely take this how it resonates. Uh, but for my initiates, this is definitely a new beginning in love. There was a sorceress energy, these hierophant energies, these uh, you had to put up. There were some things that were just kind of hidden, especially with these seven of pentacles. And maybe you had to choose the right reality. You had to choose the right path. Again, this is, you, you're blindfolded and you're following your intuition. Your intuition is guiding you. The angels are guiding you because you are divinely protected with the two of wands. Again, again, I'm feeling the two, two paths and that you will set out on a journey soon. And they're showing me the unicorn looking up at this one. Look, one of these wands is on a pedestal and it has roses at the base. So there's one that's a little bit lower and it's connected to earth. Is what they're showing me. And there's one that's a little higher frequency. So it's possible that you're going to a divine partnership of a higher frequency. They're showing me the two here again for the Gemini energy. Uh, this could be Gemini partners. These could be twins. Um, please tell me take that. This is, they're showing me the path as the portal of going to a new world. So it's going, so she's gazing up at this new energy and it's going to take her to the new world. And this is in 2024. So this is a new beginning in love in 2024. Anything else you would like to say? The lovers, <laughs> yes, the lovers. Um, there was lovers, there was a divine partnership that was kept apart um, for some of you by these uh, sorceress Hierophant energies, these illusions, this trickery. Yeah, 
had to look through these cycles of fate, this uh, get out of the karmic cycles to get to the right partner with the four of swords. You're needing to rest in this time with all this new information that has come in for you. With all these new activations and upgrades, you're needing to rest. So keep that information right beside you. Keep it, keep it close to you um, to bring you comfort. Uh, this is going to lead you. They're showing me with the, is this a stained glass window? Um, they're showing me as a leadership. They're, they're showing me you being guided. And, and they're also showing me like a mentor or something as well. So it's possible you could be, you might have a mentor. This could be a spiritual mentor. Or this could be a physical mentor. You could be dreaming about them. You may have a, um, a mentor in the dream realm. Because if they're showing me as her is like sleeping, and this is a dream that she's dreaming, and in these dreams, she's getting instruction. Um, so this could be something that's very important for you. This could be the case. And there they're showing me the moving forward. So moving forward, let's get some other cards. We're wanting a different set. Let's see what we've got here. Are these cards all backwards? I realize they are. <laughs> That's so funny. We'll have to restructure those. Let's get some Woodland Warden. So maybe something was backwards and it's being restructured. Um, this had to do with this partnership and these paths and these lovers. Okay, this is a healing time right now with the deer and the oat. This is a time of healing. This, this uh, deer energy is here to bring you great healing. Uh, this is, a, again, this is a resting from these energies, resting and healing from these activations that just came in. And I do feel that these new friends, they could be helping you to rest and heal, bringing new energy to your soul. With the oats, I'm feeling you need to really nourish your body with healing foods right now at this time. These could be, uh, these could be healing foods. I put lotion on my hands, you guys. Do you see marks? I'm so sorry. <laughs> these could be healing foods. Um, healing foods that you are... And it, this also could be healing baths and teas as well, I'm seeing. These are actually going to be super nourishing for your body. They're helping to raise your vibration and help you to manifest and heal. You are divinely protected in this time with this gunk and magnolia. I feel that you have been protected through all of these energies. Um, and, and you are protected. You are so protected. And this is a balance of the light and dark, and they're showing me the emerging of the twins as well. So definitely there could be some twin flames in this reading, because I've got a lot of different um, symbolism for that. With the skunk and magnolia, is it, there could have been uh, something around you that was giving off a bad smell. This was actually very protective for you. So this is a particular message for someone. Please only take what resonates. But yeah, there was something around you. This could have been a person causing a stink, you know, causing something, some sort of negative energy that actually was very protecting of, for you. And I feel that you're going to be going to this nurturing divine feminine energy now because they're showing you the magnolia as a nurturing, safe healing space and they're showing me the white light the white light so archangel gabriel has this diamond white light it's going to be blossoming you blossoming you like a, a beautiful flower a beautiful protected nurturing flower see there was some sort of stagnation you may be feeling some stagnation in this time as well at these activations have come through remember you need time to integrate you need time to integrate and heal um and there's, there's showing the fire coming through, the fire coming through. I hope you guys can see this over here. I, I think those are cut off just a tiny bit, the moon lighting. There we go. Yeah, the fire coming through from the dragon energy that's coming through this year. So we're getting ready to go into our Chinese New Year's, you guys, and I'm going to do a special, I've got a special collaboration uh, dragon reading in the works. Um, so we've got a few of those in the works. I'm really excited to bring those to you. I think they're going to have really important messages for you as well to help with this stagnation so look out for those they're going to be coming out soon now they're showing me the numbers for a 12 so this is a 12 as a connection to the council of light uh, the connection to the angels so the angels are here to bring you this information they're saying it's going to bring more productivity with this bead and pomegranate they're showing me the bottom of the deck it's going to bring more productivity into your life um this abundance it's going to bring abundance and productivity and i feel that it has to do with these new friends Again, this protection, you are protected. It has to do with these new friends that are coming in, bringing new energy to your soul, and it's bringing you great healing. Great healing. Let me go ahead and check the times here. Ooh, 1952. I have been reading for quite a long time. 
I don't know if that's anybody's birth year, but it could be. So 1952 and 1953. Let's go ahead and just get a Angels of Abundance card. This seems appropriate for this beautiful message from Archangel Gabriel. Thank you so much, Archangel Gabriel, for these beautiful messages. Let's see what we've got. You are creating your own reality and you're realizing this now because you have this unique spark that that just shines and you're meant to shine your light and love with the world. It says, he says, organize for success. Do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. Now this could have a lot to do with this stagnation here. So this is the call to organize. It's going to bring this productivity in and you're showing me at the bottom of the deck as well for this partnership. And it says, allow helpful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career, and both parties will benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. And isn't this cool? Because I was talking about other friends coming in, so I believe there's some partnerships going on here as well. And also, I'm, I was talking about that collaboration, so isn't this beautiful? Um, it's going to bring in much needed skills and resources. So these are beautiful messages for you from Archangel Gabriel, uh, group number one. I'm sending you so much light and love. Don't forget to leave me some comments in the description. Let me know how it resonates with you or just send your light and love to the collective through these through these uh, very energetically packed times. <laughs> Again, I'm sending you so much light and love and I will talk to you soon. Hello and welcome to group number two. If you chose card number two, you chose this beautiful image of Archangel Gabriel. And I'll go ahead and put that on my phone here. And we have this angel that says, made for an angel. We have a butterfly, we have love, we have these Cygnus Swan soulmates, we have a turtle, and we have the Mickey Mouse key. So let's go ahead and, oh, we're going to get a few dice here first. Let's see what we've got. 90. Again, that's another 90 degree turn. Seven for good luck. Seven, seven. Okay, let me grab one more. So we've got 11, 77, 8, and 5. So balance, uh, possibly some arguments, these karmic cycles. We've got the 77, so we've got some luck. We've got some great luck. Um, we've got a 90 degree turn. I have feel like it has to do with these arguments and these uh, karmic cycles. This 90 degree turn has to do with this. There we go. And then we've got the 11. And I feel like this is... Uh, also a Gemini energy here as well. Let me go ahead and tap in for you. So your messages from Archangel Gabriel, group number two. Group number two, right away I'm seeing these pyramid activations and I'm seeing them as being a portal. They're showing me a flame. Uh, he's showing me a flame within you. Diamond light frequencies, this could be activating your diamond light body that has just come in. Because I, I guess that I'm feeling this is deactivating your diamond light body. There's a flame within you as well. So some of you could identify as a twin flame. And it's showing me a high crown chakra activation. So there's been some new crown chakra activation that came in. It's helping you to see more. And now he's showing me wings, as in these wings going out. So this is an angelic crown chakra activation. You've had an angelic crown chakra activation that's come in to give you wings and rise you up. You may have messages in group number one, um, just because he's showing me the wings. And so it's a high crown chakra activation. So maybe you've had some new changes to your head, uh, but you've definitely had these head changes come in. He's showing me the crown chakra activation as these light codes, these light codes coming in uh, from Archangel Gabriel's diamond light, coming in from Solaris, coming in from these star beings, coming in from the council of light, coming in from this alliance to help you to manifest your ultimate reality, to help you express your truth. Now I feel this could be a throat chakra activation for some of you as well. I feel this is a very powerful, powerful signal that's come through because I have the energy coming through, flowing through very strongly now. So there's a very powerful activation that has come through. This could have been a throat chakra activation as I'm really feeling it in my throat. There could have been a new throat chakra or high heart chakra activation. 
definitely a crown chakra activation. This is expanding you because you are an angel. So this is what he said, made for an angel. These codes are made for an angel. You are an angel. This is why you're getting this angelic crown chakra activation. Oh, that's funny. This is literally the picture he's showing me in my mind. The, the, the halo with the, the wings coming out from it. It's a crown chakra, but these activations, this is rising you up. They're rising you up. And I feel what's gotten you there is this key to the inner child. This Mickey Mouse key. This uh, key to the inner child. And this pathfinder. There's a pathfinder turtle that's here showing you the way. Showing you the way because you are divinely protected and you're going to love. There's a divine partnership. For some of you, this could be a twin flame. There's definitely a soulmate partnership, a divine partnership here uh, that you could be heading towards. Definitely heading towards with this pathfinder, heading towards love. Let me go ahead and get a... And we're going to get this... Okay, so this is the message Archangel Gabriel has for you from our beautiful Daily Oracle. Again, thank you so much to um, <laughs> to Cleo Ra for having this on your desk so I saw what it was. It's really incredible. I'm so excited to have it. It says you are worthy of much more. You are worthy of much more. This is a very important message for you. Let's see. We're going to leave this out right here so you can see it. You are worthy of much more than you're giving yourself credit for. You are worthy of much more than the people around you are giving you. You are worthy of much more, see, because when you feel this within yourself, this will manifest in your reality. Know um, that you were divinely guided and protected. Know that you are expanding. Know that you have this beautiful luck. Know that you have been on this path where you know that you've been looking for this. This is a master number. You are a master soul. You are an ascended master that's come here to do this work. You are worthy of much more. Much more than you are giving yourself credit for now. You're worthy much more than is your, in your reality. Of what you're accepting in the 3D, you are worthy of so much more. And this is what Archangel Gabriel is telling you because there's a 90 degree turn that has to do with these arguments, these fights, this balance for karmic cycles. Balancing for karmic cycles, so maybe you were looking at things differently before. Maybe it was these two different paths and maybe there's a 90 degree turn, we just go right in the center. Uh, these Instead of going one way or the other, completely opposite directions, perhaps there's a middle path, maybe you're seeing things differently now. This has to do with these karmic cycles and these arguments. It has to do with this 90 degree turn. This is actually going to bring you much luck, much luck and more enlightenment. And more enlightenment and following for those who follow the twin path. This is more enlightenment along the twin path and uh, leading to um, more information. This could be a divine partnership as well. We're going to go ahead and get some cards. Archangel Gabriel wants me to get these. These other tarot cards. So let's see what he's got for us. What kind of messages do you have for our beautiful divine collective? Archangel Gabriel. Page of Wands. See, there's some new fire coming in. There's some new fire that's going to be taking you. I feel like you might be wanting to set off on a journey for some of you. This could be just feeling like the need to go somewhere. You might be called to go some places, but this is showing that's a moving forward. This is going to be new fire coming in on tw in 2024. There's strength. Wherever it is you're called to go. Uh, wherever it is, and, and I'll be feeling with this as well. I'm getting multiple messages, you guys, so don't take what resonates. This is initiation. You were just initiated on this path. Uh, this is the new, this is the new path for you. This is a new initi initiation. It's taking you to strength. This is the fire of initiation. This is the flame. This is the flame they were showing me within you. The initiates of the flame I am hearing as well. It's taking you out of star karmic cycles. It's taking you to strength. The strength to leave these karmic cycles and they're showing me the card number again for the eight for the eight right under this eight here and some spirit animals uh could be helping you in this they could be very important this could be uh, also could have this, this chimera energy as well i had three cards fly out let me grab those you guys so we've got the four of wands the tower and the two of coins. Oh, this is beautiful. 
So there's tower moments. And again, you may have messages in group number one. There were tower moments. There were most recent tower moments. Maybe this was the last major tower moment for this partnership. Take this only how it resonates. This is a major tower moment. And we are talking about divine partners here. This could be a last tower moment for that. This could be a last tower moment along your twin flame journey. This could be a last tower moment along your ascension. This was this major tower moment that has come through or is recently coming through, this is maybe something you're called to do. If, if this tower moment hasn't come through, this has to do with this balance and taking on too much in the physical world. And they're showing me the cloak and taking on this cloak, taking on this weight, this weight upon your shoulders. And that you're going to have to put your foot down. You need, it, this is a lot, it's, it's been a lot. You can do this, you are divinely protected and you are strong, there's this strength, right? But this is a strength for partnership. See what this tower moment is doing when you're putting your foot down, when you're taking off the weight, when you're taking off the burdens and you have this fire, this initiated flame to move forward into strength, out of karmic cycles and into strength. It's taking you to a beautiful divine partnership. This is completion and this is a partner. You take it how it resonates because it's whatever it is that you want. The spirit's never going to force anything on you that you don't want. But this is a divine, this is divinely led person that's for you. This is a new beginning. This is a completion. This is a wedding. This is a celebration. This is a coming together of spirits. And as uh, if you are, if you uh, follow the twin flame journey, this is a twin flames coming together. This is where it's taking you this strength. It's bringing this divine union. They're showing me the bottom of the deck with the three of cups, the three of cups, because they are celebrating. This is a celebration. This is a coming together. This is a coming together of soul family, star family. This is a coming together in love. Uh, coming together in love and they are celebrating they are celebrating this uh this now in the spirit they're celebrating this ascension time that's gonna you are so you have so much good luck in this it, archangel there's only the card archangel gabriel is the messenger of god who is helping you express your truth and this truth it's what's taking you to this beautiful beautiful divine partnership this beautiful completion this beautiful marriage this beautiful vision, this celebration, this celebration. I'm gonna get a few. This fire, this passion, this passion. It's gonna be so passionate. It's gonna be so fulfilling. It's gonna fulfill your soul. Like that thing of you, piece of you that was feeling like it was missing. Like it's there, like you have it. So take it how it resonates. It doesn't have to be another person. This is definitely going to soul family, star family balance it's a balance for this partnership this tiger's eye uh this communication this grounding it's bringing in this balance and i'm seeing the five the arguments and the balance and you balancing this two of coins you've been balancing perhaps and you've needed to do a lot of grounding i'm grounding right now at this moment this is going to take you to happiness see this balance this grounding it's taking you to happiness and they're showing me the butterfly again it's the expansion and the rising up Archangel Gabriel says, um, you need sacred space to nurture your inner child. Again, this inner child is the key. This inner child is the key uh, to this path forward. And you need this sacred space to nurture your inner child. This is going to take you to happiness. Now, a black kitten could also be important. This could be a symbol. Or you might be, maybe you went home recently to visit your family home. This would be a call for a new family home. Perhaps you have a new family home. There's multiple messages here in this family home card, so please only take what resonates. There may be a special message for you that's coming through that I'm not even giving you. That's why I put these cards down, you guys, so you can see them and get your own messages because I know there's more messages here. I'm only channeling what comes through. Archangel Gabriel wants me to get some of these other cards for you now mystical and i was looking at this book see you are so much you are worthy of much more because you are mystical this is a mystical magical world and these are some mystical magical times we're in right now so there soon could be new activations that's coming in for you oh that's too many cards oh okay there's also some incoming communication so there's some incoming communication. I feel like it possibly could have to do with this divine partnership. It could have to do with this initiation or this new path. Um, this is uh, for manifestation. It's gonna help you with manifestation and uh, magic. It's gonna help you with manifestation and magic. 
Now, it could be that you were manifesting something with magic, and this is going to bring in incoming communication. Maybe you had a recent incoming communication that this and that this spirit is a that Archangel Gabriel is confirming that you manifested this with magic. Now you manifested this. That there's new messages coming in with the massage. We've got the massage and we've got the French for massage. <laughs> massage. <laughs> so we've got message and massage your body because you've got a lot of activations coming through. You've had a lot of these activations coming through. You're growing in strength. These are new initiations. This is new fire bringing balance. So please make sure to massage your body. But you have incoming communication. You have messages coming in. And they're showing me the company of angels at the bottom of the deck as you were surrounded by angels and you are in the company of angels because you're a part of this company of angels. You're one of these angels. You're one of these seraphim, these cherubim, these archangels, these divine, this divine, this divine collective. You are part of this divine collective and you are part of this company of angels. You were, you were connected to the angels. Um, and this is how you were able to manifest your ultimate reality. They're showing me right now that you are growing with Gaia. Archangel Gabriel says you are growing with Gaia through this ascension. And you were surrounded by the angels and this is bringing in magic and you have manifested this. You're able, you're going to be able to manifest so much more. So much more through meditation. They're showing me the bottom of the deck through meditation. So make sure that you're doing your meditations. Uh, Mokuba meditations, whatever meditations you do, I'm needing to check the time. I saw 1422. 1422, so 144. You are connected to the 144. You're connected to the 144,000. And perhaps, you know, I just had a, um, a friend, a, a friend subscriber, uh, talk to me about the 144. Because I say the 144 all the time, and they said that, you know, I heard the 144 are the parents of the 144,000, and they come here to activate them. And I said, you know what, that sounds incredible, actually, that sounds really true. I've not heard that, but that really rings of truth to me. It really rings of truth to me because I am part of the 144 and I was sent to help the children. I was sent to help activate and help the children and that's what I'm here for. So I really hope I'm helping you and that's that's really what I'm here for you guys. But this is some other number meanings for the 144. So I definitely have this 144 activation coming through. Now I wanted to get some Earth Alchemy Oracle cards here really quick. I think this has to do with all of these changes that are coming through. Yes. The Presley Eye Blue Stone, there's a pilgrimage. A pilgrimage you're being called to go on. These are sacred sites, grid work, and dragon energy. There's dragon energy coming through for you. Dragon energy, this fire, this fire that's coming through, causing these tower moments and causing you to put your foot down. To release these burdens, to take off that that oh that weight on your shoulders. To take off the hat that's like covering you and keeping you from shining your light, because it's time to shine your light. It's time to shine your light. And Archangel Gabriel is showing me the bottom of the deck for the Lilac Spirit Courts for community. This is healing divisions, teamwork, and freedom. So you're definitely going to be going to this beautiful community, this beautiful soul family, star family community, and possibly through this pilgrimage, these sacred sites and grid work. Uh, this dragon energy is going to be bringing in your community. And I think this is a beautiful, beautiful message. I'm not sure where I can stick this, where you can see it. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful messages from Archangel Gabriel for you, group number two. Please let me know how it resonates because I love hearing from you guys in the comments. My beautiful soul family, star family, especially my beautiful 144, 144,000, and all of my, uh, my soul family, star family. I am so grateful for you. I'm sending you so much light and love, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Hello and welcome to group number three. If you chose card number three, you chose this beautiful image, this beautiful card that were made to me by, by W and D Gotti. I will have um, his credit down below and maybe I'll put a link uh, so you can check out some of his music as well. But he makes the most beautiful, beautiful cards for me. Um, I'll go ahead and put this on my phone here. Oh, I didn't get your charms. Let me grab your charms here. Group number three. We have a butterfly, a dolphin, we have the crystal cross, we have a shell, an apple, a fairy, a key, oh no Siri, thank you. <laughs> We have the Divine Feminine Key, 
and we have the moon. Isn't that sweet that Siri was here for us? Let's go ahead and get some, uh, some dice here as well. Oh, you are a diamond. Eight and three. Could have been born in, someone could have been born in 83 or in 83. Seven and five. Someone could have been born in 75 or on seven five. So this is just a confirmation for you. We've got a, a one and 50 and then a seven. So we've got 77. All right, we've got 55. And I also feel with this 50, like um, for some of you, I'm hearing the halfway there, you're halfway there. We've got a three, I don't know what this is for exactly. And we've got 13, so the number 13, and, um, and eight for karmic cycles. So let's go ahead and also I'm feeling eight for abundance and manifestation. So you have ultimate luck in this manifestation. And 55, so you're going to get there. You're really building this right now. They want me to look up the 55 real quick. I think I looked it up the other day. But I'm not remembering it right now. So they want me to look it up. I'm gonna have these things memorized sooner or later, you guys, from all these readings. Change, freedom, and progress. So you're progressing forward on this change and it's bringing you freedom. You're progressing forward to bring you freedom. Big changes are coming into your life, into your career, your love life, your personal life, and your spiritual life. So this is a beautiful message. Big changes and you are, you are, um, you've got ultimate luck in this because you have the power to create your own reality. Let's go ahead and tap in for you um, to your messages from Archangel Gabriel, group number three. Group number three, right away, they're showing me as a Merkaba activation. So Archangel Gabriel was showing me this Merkaba around you as manifesting your reality. So you've had a recent Merkaba activation this could be something you are actively working on, or this could be something that has just come through with these energies. But I'm feeling this Merkaba activation and a, a diamond light body activation. So there's a new diamond light body activation that is coming in for you as well through this time. With this Merkaba, they're showing the Merkaba took you through a portal, took you to new timelines. This is a timeline where you will manifest your ultimate reality. Um, so this you, you are in this new timeline now in 2024. So this is new information coming in for you about creating your reality in this new timeline. And, there, and you're showing me the art and music. So art and music uh, would be very helpful for you. I think you're going to be creating something musically or creating something artistically. And now this doesn't mean that you actually have to be creating the art, but maybe you're baking or maybe you're putting together videos. Something you're doing is artistic and something you're doing is musical. These, these are very beautiful. These are gonna be helping you uh, to manifest your reality and, and keep in tune with yourself and to shine your light. So that's the whole idea. You're gonna be shining your light you're going to be shining your light because you've got this crystal cross connection. And what they were showing me with this is a portal, as a portal, as Jesus was this portal to get you here, to hold your soul. Now you could be have come from the lineage of Jesus for some of you, uh, for the lineage of Jesus. And I feel the divine Sophia here as well. The divine Sophia. So you're divinely protected and guided. And I feel the fairies here as well. So you actually are a master soul. It feels like that's been through multiple cycles multiple cycles. So you've got this fairy energy around you. You have the Christic energy around you. You have the moon energy, this mystery. So uh, also feeling the moon goddess energy around you. And then I feel uh, this Mentaka energy as well, this Atlantean energy, uh, this Pleiadian energy, this healing energy, nurturing divine feminine energy, this wisdom, this wisdom you came in with as well. To see through the apple, to see through the glass apple to manifest your reality to um and this is like the bite taken out of the apple to see through uh to see through the lies to see through the falsehood um of the uh the i'm saying the glass apple this is like the firmament this is like the the things that they put over the earth to block us in to keep us in this matrix right and this is what they're showing me the apple um is breaking through this to see through it uh it's just like taking a bite out of it right there's the wisdom there comes the wisdom but it's um it is shattering that reality it's shattering the matrical structures and this is what's bringing this is why you are so lucky here this is why you were so divinely protected you came here to do this you came here with this power to manifest your own reality 
and to expand and to show others. Um, and this is actually for abundance. You've got these abundance codes that you came in with. They're showing me with the apple. It's like a juiciness and nurturing as well. We're going to go ahead and get a daily oracle for you. Thank you, Cleo Ra, for having it on your desk so that I saw what it was. Thank you so much. It says, if you want the truth, simply strip away every illusion. And that's exactly what I was talking about. Stripping away the illusion to the truth. And this is what you came here to do. Perhaps you're doing this right now if you haven't already. For some of you, um, this is maybe what you're working on right now. Stripping away the illusion to get to the truth. This is the diamond frequency. This is the diamond light frequency. This is the truth. This is the pureness. This is the intention. There is no, there is no shadow. There is no tint to it. There's no subjugation. There's nothing making it something else. This is the purest, purest light. This is the purest truth coming from Archangel Gabriel. He wants me to get some tarot cards for you. Group number three. Okay, <laughs> it's kind of worked its way out. <laughs> okay, justice, this is justice. This is justice for the earth. This is justice for these karmic cycles. This is justice for these matrical structures. This is justice for these shadow forces that you came through to do this. Uh, you're rising up right now. You're rising up and you're going to the kingdom. You're climbing the ladder. You're climbing this ladder of ascension because you are a diamond. This is justice. So you are, you are metering out this justice. And they're showing me the number 11 again. So you may have messages in uh, group number two. While that 11 was so prominent, this is the sun energy. The sun energy has come through. This raw energy, and I was just talking about Cleo Ra. This raw energy has come through. This sun energy, and they're showing me the numbers again. So we have to look like the mirroring and the partnership because we got the X, I, X. We've got a mirroring and a partnership here. The sun energy is... And perhaps this mirroring partnership, there could have been a mirroring partnership that helped you to lead, this, lead you to these sun energies. Perhaps there was one through these sun energies. Please take only what resonates. I'm getting multiple messages. This is for someone in particular. There is a sun energy. Now this is, you could be laying out on the sun and absorbing these sun codes as well. Um, the sun could be very energizing for you. I feel that you're very connected to Ra and Solaris, but I'm also feeling these sun, these recent sun codes that have come through. These recent activations that's accelerating you, accelerating this extension. It's bringing this justice. It's bringing this completion. This is going to be bringing you to joy. They're showing me the snake and the Ouroboros and the coming out of the karmic cycles, uh, the, the you know, snake eating its tail sort of thing, um, and this rising above, the rising above. This is awesome. I love this. Archangel Gabriel wants me to get some energy oracle cards. It's going to take you to joy. I feel like this is a, this is literally, I feel like it's a journey. You were going on a journey. This could be a spiritual or this could be an actual physical journey because I feel this boat. You're journeying somewhere, uh, going to distant lands possibly and that rising up. So we've got this healer of the ages and the second chakra Archangel Ariel. And Archangel Ariel, I think, is the um, the archangels whose messages need to come in next. I've been feeling her for a while, but Gabriel's needed to come out first. But I've got this second chakra Archangel Ariel. So she's she's activating your sacral chakra, um, and it's this gut instinct that's leading you forward, that's taking you in, to, in the right path, that's taking you there, this beautiful creative energy. And I said, you're going to be creating art, music. Um, this is Archangel Ariel, uh, Ariel loves art, art, music, nature, um, nature. This is growing with Gaia. This is, this is spending time in nature, observing the sun. This is communicating with the plants and the animals. Uh, this is this beautiful energy that's coming through for you while you're expanding right now because you are a healer of the ages. And I do feel for some of you, I said Jesus could have been a portal for you. This is Jesus was like your best friend. Jesus is here for you. God was your, God is your daddy um, taking you to this, taking you on this ascension because this, because you came in with this divine blueprints. You came in with this divine blueprints. And that's why there was so much mystery. That's why you had to embody this moon goddess energy. I have moon goddess hoodies, um, candles. <laughs> I think it's just a moon goddess hoodie. The other ones are get cosmic. Yes, I have moon goddess. Oh, they were showing me the moon goddess. So check that out down below. I do have a, a I think it's a 15% off coupon. They're showing me the king of wands. Oh, you're becoming this ultimate manifester. This ultimate manifester. This is the fire that's coming through and they're showing me 
Archangel Gabriel is showing me, I have all the angels here, you guys, but this is Archangel Gabriel's messages. He's showing me because I have the council of light here. We've got the light coming through. We have the light coming through, energizing your chakra system and, and helping you to manifest your reality. But they're showing me now, as you've got this rooted in, you're rooting this in, rooting into your reality, um, this root chakra of the red. We've got this root chakra, this trust, this trust that you are manifesting. And they're showing me the fleur de lis at the top of the staff that you are a royal star seed. A royal star seed. And you came here to manifest. You came here to raise the vibration. You came here to do this work. And you are going to be manifesting your reality. And I feel a lot of you are very passionate and beautiful as well. Very passionate. The Queen of Swords and the Seven of Wands. It's a break out of love. It's a break out of these karmic cycles. It's a break out of, um, it's a break out into love. So this higher heart chakra, the love is what takes you there. And they're showing me the, the skull and crossbones, these death processes and the flowers. Um, possible false flowers. This is um, the structure, this matrical structure that was trying to hold you in. It's breaking out of that energy with the Queen of Swords. You're becoming this, using this Queen of Swords energy. You've got all this information, all this new incoming information, and you've gathered all this information. And now you're seeing the way ahead and the way to go. And they're showing me the avians, so you could be connected to the avians or birds could be a particular sign for you. Or flowers as well, because they're showing me flowers as well as a very symbolic thing for you. As an in, inch of moving away from some flowers and um, rising up. With the Seven of Swords, I feel you were felt you felt very betrayed, and you had to keep that nest thing close to you, that sense of self, that hold hold what was important to you. And this was like your divine purpose. This was like everything that you felt that you should do, that maybe you tried to do, but it didn't work out, and you felt so betrayed by the energies around you. And I'm feeling like a blossoming of that. I feel, I feel this dragon energy coming up to help move you forward. And that's what's coming through in 2024. Now, Archangel Gabriel wants me to get some unicorn cards for you. Card number three. Create your vision. And that's exactly what you're doing with these diamond frequencies. It says, do what makes your heart sing. You are being nudged forward. And I was, I'm reminded of the, uh, the daily oracle message from another group. So you may have messages in other groups, if you were called there, about um, doing what makes your heart sing, even if you don't get paid for it. Okay? So do what makes your heart sing. You are being nudged forward to create your vision because you are this ultimate manifester. By grounding in these energies and activating your root chakra, grounding in your root chakra, having a very strong root chakra, very strong trust is how you're able to manifest this reality, how you're able to create this magic. And these diamond codes are only bringing in to give you the simple truth to strip away every illusion and have you create with pure intention. And Archangel Gabriel is showing me the bottom of the deck with creative solutions. It says, think outside the box and view things from a higher perspective. And we're seeing the number 13 again, that number 13 here. Is very important. So this is um, this has to do with the justice for these karmic cycles, and this is uh, stripping away every illusion so you can see the truth. Think outside the box and view things from a higher perspective. And these are the diamond heart frequencies that are coming in for you. This diamond heart activation from Archangel Gabriel. It's a beautiful, beautiful message. And he says at uh, the bottom of the deck again, divine potential. This is card number 35. Someone here could be 35. Um, also, this could be a call for March 5th. But I've been feeling someone here is 35. And, and this is an important message for you. It says, you have divine potential. Fulfill your destiny and be all you can be. Okay? This is the scrolls open. See, Archangel Gabriel has brought these scrolls. He's brought this information, this wisdom to you. And I'm feeling the moon energy up here as well. The moon bringing in information as well. Luna bringing in information. I've got information for you. <laughs> My beautiful soul family, star family. Let me check this time. I've got one, five, two, one. One, five, two, one. We'll go ahead and get an Angels of Abundance card to close out this reading. I might get a Spirit of the Animals Oracle card because I'm feeling spirit animals here as well. We've got release resentments about money. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool that you can use to better the world, and this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. So this is a special message for someone. 
and organize for success and we were getting this card in the first group so again you might have messages there but don't let organization intimidate you intimidate you it's just a simply a way to ensure your clarity of purpose organizing your thoughts your reports your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan this next action steps because i do feel that you're called to to go towards something now again, this could be an inner journey, but you still need to know what those action steps are. Let's get you a Spirit of the Animals Oracle card as well, just to finish out this reading, because I feel some spirit animals here. Penguin, authentic. Authentic. And this diamond light is helping you be your authentic self. It says, reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Break free from others' expectations and just be yourself. And I think this is a beautiful, beautiful message. Beautiful message to be your authentic self, to reach out to your tribe in times of need, to reach out to your soul family, star family. And I'm ever so grateful to my soul family, star family, who's reaching out to me all the time. I'm sending you guys so much light and love. Thank you so much for your comments, uh, your subscriptions, your emails, your donations, your purchasing a personal reading or checking out my, um, my channel below. All of these are super positive, uh, exchanges of energy that help me to channel for you more directly, but also send me beautiful light throughout my day. So I'm ever so grateful for you. Please let me know how this resonates because I love hearing from you guys in the comments. I'm sending you so much light and love and a beautiful, positive 20, 24. Um, these beautiful messages from Archangel Gabriel. Thank you so much, Archangel Gabriel. I'll talk to you guys soon.